In 2013, a poll of Hamilton County citizens, we learned that the majority of voters support increasing resources for public schools, as long as they know those resources will be directly improving outcomes for students. How will you work to ensure taxpayers that money spent on schools is being spent efficiently and effectively? Well, the, the first thing I would do would be to work uh, to have a strategic plan defined for our school system. Uh, we don't have a strategic plan, there's not one. We have changed plans from year to year and that's evident in the past two years. Two years ago, uh, the budget asking for 34 million more dollars in regards to foreign language and the arts, uh, not getting that increase, and now this year asking for 26 more million in regards to vocational and technical training. Vocational and technical training are needed. Foreign language and the arts, absolutely. But we need to pick a plan and we need to stay with it. I would say that uh, the foreign language and the arts may not be our most pressing problems right now, as you all have seen from the statistics from Chattanooga 2.0. We need to focus on being able to communicate well, read and write, and being proficient in math. So the first thing that I think is a, uh, paramount is that we've got to have a strategic plan. We need to have a direction as a community, as a school board, as a school system, what do we value? And then let's work towards those values. And right now, I just don't see that. Uh, I see some, some division uh, in the school system amongst administration and on the school board as to what direction we, we need to go. Uh, I will not be asking for more money uh, in regards to that. We've got to be more accountable as a school system for the funds that we already have. Right now, we are second in the state in spending per student. Second, only behind Williamson County, and they are knocking it out of the park. But we're in the bottom third of the state when it comes to results. How can you go to the county taxpayer who is already funding the school system at a level that is higher than any other county but one in the state and ask them for more money and you're not getting results? You can't do that. So that's, that, that's out of the question. I would also be uh, adamant about a more detailed budget. I've had the opportunity to look at the budget. There are way too many line items in that budget where you cannot follow that dollar to its definitive end. It is a very vague line item. We need to have a more detailed budget. We also need to demand as a community and as a school board that we get that budget in ample time to be able to look it over and pick it apart. Traditionally, that has not happened. That budget gets dumped onto the school board with not enough time to pick through it to be able to ask pertinent questions uh, that the community, the districts, would like to have asked. Uh, and then lastly, I would say, uh, the onus is on the school system uh, to get the perception turned around. Whether it's reality or whether it's perceived, uh, the onus is on the school system to get the arrow going uh, in a different direction. And we have to do that by showing and demonstrating that we can be a better steward of taxpayer money. Well, in answer to that question, we have got to start scrutinizing every penny that's spent on different programs and looking at each one of those programs to see if they've been beneficial and see if they're worth what we're paying for them. I know we have in the past had pro programs come in and programs go out and there's no accountability for those programs and what effect they're having on the student outcome. So we need to probably, in a time frame of three to five years, check those programs to see if they've done what we expected them to do. And if they don't, we need to just toss them and find another program. And I know that sounds like, well, try one, throw one out, but they don't always all work. So we have to feel out what is most beneficial for our kids. If it's a beneficial program, then it should remain. If not, terminate it. We need to hold expenses as low as possible because the taxpayers are saying there is no tax increase coming. So with that being said, we need to be able to itemize easily, find where the dollars are not being spent efficiently, and work on that budget again.
we have to also keep in mind that we have over $200 million in capital improvement needs. If buildings are falling apart, what happens to your teachers' morale? What happens to the students in those buildings? We have to correct those problems as they occur and address them quickly in a timely manner because if we don't and we try, just try to keep putting band-aids on a problem, what happens? Tax dollars are getting wasted. Money is getting wasted. We need to fix things quickly and correctly. If we have a failed HVAC system, that's thousands of dollars that we have to worry about. Where is it gonna come from? So we have to be able to know where the dollars are being wasted and correct that problem. Um, I've been accused by some in this room of advocating for a tax increase, when in fact I was advocating for curriculum perfection. Art, to be precise, enhances creativity. And if you are familiar with the 2.0 initiative, a lot of the things that are happening with our children going out into the workforce is they're coming back and saying, the kids are not creative. They have no creative ability. What are we supposed to do with them? So just to clear up that muddied water, I want you to know that I did advocate for arts in the schools because I do believe creativity is what the workforce is looking for. Thank you.